At this point, you want to take your slab and still toss it on the table once or twice. You're going to bend your wrist towards your body with outstretched arms. So your arms are away from your body and you're kind of moving your wrist inward. Um, you just want to, I'm ripping off a little piece here just to show you, but you just want uh, basically something that's a little thinner than a pancake, maybe maybe homemade tortilla thickness, not store-bought tortilla. There's a difference. And then uh, after you've taken that slab and tossed it once or twice, place it on your paper plate or your plastic plate that has a paper towel over it and start using your thumb to pick up the natural curve of the plate. Use the meaty fat part of your thumb to do that. You're pressing the slab. It's almost like pie crust that you're putting in a pie tin if you've ever made a homemade pie. And just kind of move all the way around. You can even use the outer part of your thumb, like your outer thumb knuckle, to do this as well. You're going to have some uh, excess slab hanging over the edge, which is kind of annoying. So just trim that away with any cutting tool. And basically, that's going to produce a decent amount of extra clay that you can use for extra credit. Maybe make a Christmas ornament with that clay. I'm going to put it off to the side and make sure it doesn't dry out. Because all Mrs. Nave wants to see is a plate. Any excess clay, you can do whatever you want with that. Uh, you can even use your index finger or all four fingers to press down and pick up that indentation um, that curve of the plate. Now, be careful, that plate I gave you, that blue plate, it's kind of wimpy, so you want to brace it and support it with your other hand. So I'm doing this up in the air, not on the table, and my right hand is supporting the weight because this could get a little heavy, um, and that plate's wimpy. If you create dents with your fingertips, don't worry about it. You'll be able to smooth that away. I mean, don't hulk out and make really deep dents, but if if... You happen to have a minor dent. It's a fixable problem. And then uh, what you want to do is kind of a pinching technique. That's what I'm doing here. Kind of pinching the edge of the slab so that it mimics the curve. And so the slab kind of curves over the plate a bit, just a bit. So go all the way around and do that. And then you'll see if you flip everything upside down, you'll see how you have excess clay still that you need to edit down. So this is what artists constantly do. We're always editing. Take your plastic knife or your paper clip and basically just trim along the circular edge of the plate. Use the plate as like your strong edge as a guide. And that will again produce additional scrap clay for extra credit you want to make. I'm switching to the paper clip. That's gonna that's gonna get me a better cut, a cleaner cut. So I recommend using the paper clip too. You can see that's a much cleaner cut. And if you've purchased any um, ceramic tools at the dollar store, by all means use that, of course. So just keep turning and cutting and trimming down. Edit this down. And I'm remembering here to place this and do this on my craft foam sheet. That'll make life easier. I don't have a banding wheel. I'm missing our banding wheels from our classroom. So turning that foam sheet kind of mimics a uh, wannabe banding wheel. <laughs> We're getting desperate. And there's some additional scrap clay for fun. Now don't overcut either. You have to be careful of that too. So do a quick flip using the craft foam. Work smart, not hard. You know that's my motto. I still see another section I need to kind of eyeball and cut down just by eyeballing it. And again, here's where you don't want to trim too much. Because that's a commitment. What I'm doing right here is a commitment. So you don't want to 
mess that up. And you can still press with your thumb uh, to get that curve of the plate. You know, we want to see kind of a, a shadow, like a th we want a 3D quality. We want to see that plate kind of dip down in the center. So there you have it. And that's all I want you to do for the most part. Um, get your slab on your plate, trim it so it's it's looking circular and picks up the shape of the plate and then you can at this point start sponging away and cleaning it up till your heart's content um, i'm again noticing some areas i need to trim so here's where you're going to do major editing of trimming and then sponging and then back to trimming and then more sponging and then trimming and sponging and here's where you're going to deal with any dents, any imperfections. You can even use your fingertip. You don't have to use a sponge, although that makeup sponge is pretty helpful for, for this assignment. The fact that it has a thin area and a thick area makes the sponge useful. So just baby that plate now at this point. Get it nice and clean and smooth and perfectly round. And then... Uh, I will talk about decorating in the new year. Do not decorate this yet. Wait for my lead on that. You just make make the plate and get it clean and smooth and make sure there aren't any sharp edges because as you know, when you have freshly cut clay, that produces sharp edges. So that's what I'm cleaning up right now. And you can see a little bit of a shadow. You can see the, the plate form showing up. 